So this guy I know was making fun of his wife and he was like, oh, she makes tens of dollars on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> but if you can get really good at Facebook Marketplace, you can make hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars. So today I'm gonna show you how to use Facebook Marketplace the right way so that you can start making sales. So whether you're selling old clothes you don't wear anymore or you actually have a business, this video is gonna be for you. I'm gonna show you how you can get really good at Facebook Marketplace. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Have we met yet? If not, my name is Michelle Bally. I make videos every week for you guys. And if we have met, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? I just wanna say that the first half of this video is gonna be dedicated to helping you sell, you know, kind of casually on Facebook Marketplace. And then the second half of the video is gonna be for all of you that are looking to take this a little bit more seriously. So if you have a business on Shopify, make sure that you are sticking to the end of this video. Okay, so why do some people make tons of money with Facebook Marketplace and others are not so lucky? Well, it's actually not about luck. It's about how good your post is. What makes a good post? Let me cue up my computer and we can make a post together step by step so that you guys can follow along. First, it's the photos. You want your photos to have really good lighting. Make sure you use the good camera on your phone. Usually that's the back. And don't just post one or two photos. Take photos of, you know, what you're trying to sell at all different angles. You know, you want to do close up, far away, the object being in use that kind of a thing. So these are all really good examples of strong Facebook Marketplace photos right here. If you're reselling, also include photos from the original seller like these here. Photos are only half the equation. The description and the title are gonna be equally as important. So how do you do this? Start by thinking about what someone might be typing into Facebook in order to find your posting. Let's say you're selling your iPhone. iPhone 12 mini green is gonna get a lot more hits than used phone, for example. So make a list of all the search terms you think people will be using to find your post and then include them in your title and your description. My recommendation is to do a mix of short terms like iPhone, iPhone mini, green iPhone, and then do a mix of long terms like used iPhone 12 and Apple iPhone 12 mini 128 gigabytes. Also, a word to the wise, be honest about what you're selling. This is really important. In the description, you wanna be upfront about the condition of the item that you're selling and why you're selling it, that kind of a thing. I'll tell you why, because one time I was trying to get a custom dining table and I found this guy, this woodworker on Facebook Marketplace who handmade them, okay? The posting said $350. I got really excited. I gave him a call and on the phone, he was like, oh no, that's for the one that, that's for the coffee table or something like that. I don't exactly remember what he said, but I realized it was a total bait and switch. I got bamboozled. He was just trying to lure me in and it just bugged me so much that I was like, nah, I'm gonna take my money elsewhere. So moral of the story, honesty is the best way to get customers and even repeat customers. So definitely try thinking long-term with that. So now you know how to make the perfect Facebook Marketplace post, but let me put you on to five more tips that are gonna turbocharge your sales. Your posting time does matter. So try posting on evenings and weekends when folks are online and perusing Facebook Marketplace. If someone messages you, message them back as quickly as possible. You don't want them to change their mind. Be aware that people on Facebook Marketplace aren't shopping for Picassos. <laughs> okay guys, they're looking for a deal so you have to be open to negotiation. Try offering a freebie. If you have a bunch of things, let's say that you need to get rid of, throw in a little extra item that's related to that object that you're trying to sell. It'll be a win-win because you're gonna get rid of one more thing and they will be more likely to make Make that deal. Be patient. Selling on Marketplace does take a lot of time. It does take a lot of energy. And sometimes you might get a ton of responses and on other times, you know, you might not. So that's all part of the fun. That's all part of the hustle. Are you guys finding this video helpful so far? If so, make sure that you're hitting subscribe because we have videos on how to be an online e-commerce entrepreneur. This is an official Shopify channel. So if you like content just like this, then hit subscribe. Okay, moving on. This part is for all my business owners. Do you have an online store and you wanna use Facebook Marketplace as a way to lure customers in. Well, here are some ways that you can use Facebook Marketplace to promote your already established Shopify store. First, let's set up your Facebook shop to sell on Facebook Marketplace. Go to your commerce manager on Facebook. Click catalog. Click products. Click add products. Select add products from a different platform. Choose Shopify. Enter your Shopify URL and click connect. 
Select the products you wanna to add to Facebook Marketplace and click Next. Review your product information and then click Publish. Once your products are listed on Facebook Marketplace, you can manage them from your Commerce Manager or Shopify store. There are two options for how checkout can work when someone purchases from your store through Facebook Marketplace. Checking out on your Shopify store is the default option. When someone clicks buy on your Facebook Marketplace listing, they will be redirected to your Shopify store to complete that purchase. Otherwise, they can check out on Facebook. Facebook has a built-in checkout feature that allows customers to purchase items directly on Facebook without leaving the platform. This can be a really convenient way for customers to check out, but it's not gonna be as secure as a checkout on Shopify. And by the way, guys, if you choose to allow to check out on Facebook, you're still gonna need to connect your Shopify store to Facebook payments. So here are the steps for setting up your checkout preference. From your Shopify admin, go to settings, sales channels. Click on the Facebook Marketplace sales channel. In the checkout section, select the option you want. Click save. Once all of this is set up, consider running Facebook ads. This is a really great way to drive traffic to your Shopify store and increase sales. When creating your ads, be sure to use high quality images and videos and target your ads to the right people. You can also use Facebook's conversion tracking to track the performance of your ads and see how many people are clicking through to your Shopify store. If you don't have the budget for ads right now, no worries. Try using Facebook Live instead. This is a really great free way to connect with potential customers in real time and answer their questions. When hosting a Facebook Live event, be sure to have a plan for what it is that you want to talk about when you go live. You should also promote your event in advance and encourage people to tune in. The thing that I really like about connecting a Shopify store to Facebook Marketplace is that it's a lot more Secure, like I said. One time, guys, I was selling my laptop and the guy that was buying from me was like, okay, I sent the payment. And I saw a PayPal email come into my inbox and I was like, cool. I was this close to going to the post office and shipping it to him. And something inside of me was like, wait, 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 wait. So I called PayPal to confirm that there was money in the account and they were like, nope, nope. <laughs> it was totally a scam. So guys, be careful out there. Moral of the story is that's definitely one of the benefits of using Shopify with Facebook Marketplace is you just get that added layer of security. Okay, smooth transition here, normal transition. If you want a Shopify store and don't have one already, I will leave a link in the description box down below for a free trial. I feel like that's fair, no? A little bit of a shameless plug there, <laughs> but a fair one. I feel like it made sense in the moment. But randomly, I feel like in this video, I just had a lot of Facebook Marketplace stories. I don't really fancy myself a Facebook Marketplace kind of a girl just in my daily life, but dang, I have I had two stories in there. I think I might even have some more. <laughs> Drop me a Facebook Marketplace story down below if you want, just selfishly. I wanna be able to read those in the comments. That'll be fun. But yeah, guys, other than that, this has been a real slice. So glad that you guys could join me today. If I haven't already mentioned it, the channel that you're watching here is called Learn with Shopify. We teach you everything that you need to know about running an online business. So if that sounds good to you and you wanna hang every week, then hit subscribe. <laughs> Thanks guys so much. I will see you next week. Peace.